hello. Today we are talking about book series that I would like to start. And this is by no means comprehensive because I started writing them down and I was like, oh, I already have like 12, I don't even know. I had like 12 or 15 on this list and I was like, we're just gonna stop here. There's so many I wanna start. If you're thinking to yourself, self, doesn't she have like an entire 2021 project of like reading down series? That is accurate. But I am doing that because I have so many other series I want to start or other series that I want to continue on with. So I just want to make, you know, I was, I felt like my ledger was just growing and growing of books that I needed to get to in series. So it just felt like it was time to sort of counterbalance that a little bit. But some of that is because I have all these other books that I want to start, all these other series I want to start. So no particular order. I'm not going to include um, any Nora Roberts ones because that's covered under my reading Roberts project. But in general, we'll just kind of start working our way through this. So first of all, I would like to start the, well, I don't even know what this series, I don't know what a lot of these series are called. Sometimes it's just going to be the first book, the name of it with series. So there you go. Um, the Long Way to a Small Angry Planet series from Becky Chambers. This is a sci-fi series that I've been told by so many people that they think I would enjoy. I read a novella from her in 2020 that I liked but didn't love. Um, the writing was very beautiful, but I don't know that it was super enticing to me in terms of if that's representative of her work as a whole. But I've been told that this isn't quite, like it's a lighter tone than that novella had. So anyway, this is a sci-fi kind of space adventure type series that gets so much love here on booktube and i definitely it's one that i would like to get going on another one that i would like to start is the blessings series from beverly jenkins i got this as a recommendation from ashley at bookish realm whose taste i very much trust and i've been wanting to try some of beverly jenkins contemporaries the way she was talking about the series just made me so excited to give it a try my library has all of them so that is something that i would definitely like to get going on because i just i don't know beverly jenkins is so wonderful and i would like to give her contemporaries a try. And that one, I believe, by the way, is set in modern day Kansas, but it's in a town that is one of the only surviving townships that were started by freed slaves after the Civil War. And I think the main character goes and like buys the town and hijinks ensue from there. So that seems rad to me. A mystery series I've been meaning to start for forever is the Mary Russell series, the first one being The Beekeeper's Apprentice. And basically this is a, what if Sherlock Holmes had a female counterpart who I think he eventually gets into a relationship with? I don't know. But I just, I mean, I love mysteries. I love Sherlock Holmes. And this is one of the kind of, I'm sort of like a fan fiction-y type work or spinoff series. One of the ones that I think is considered to be the best. And I love a mystery. So I am definitely intrigued to give this one a try at some point. Next, the Baron the Nightingale series by Catherine Arden. This is a Y, it's a YA? I don't know if it's actually YA fantasy. It's fantasy for sure. And it definitely starts with a young person, but I don't know if it's like actually YA. So not sure there but I've heard really good things about this series it has a very Slavic Russian kind of folklore element to the fantasy world and I believe that the setting the kind of setup is that our protagonist's mom dies as is one to happen in fantasy novels and her stepmother is Christian whereas she is in some version of Russia where they are still worshiping the you know kind of ancestral gods and she is trying to move everyone away from that worshiping practice and our protagonist um, is like very in tune with the gods and so you know conflict ensues from there i have the first one as an audiobook so maybe i will be able to slot that one in sometime this year you can go kind of just general literary coming of age whatever i guess next uh the patrick melrose series of books this is a bind up with old benedict cumberbatch here on the cover uh these are four novels i believe and i think that this is like literary coming of age, possibly some queer elements in here. I can't quite remember, but this was a really epic series that was very highly praised when it was coming out. By turns harrowing and hilarious, this ambitious novel cycle dissects the English upper class. St. Aubin offers his readers the often darkly funny and self-loathing world of privilege as we follow Patrick Melrose's story of abuse, addiction, and recovery from the age of five into early middle age. So we're following one guy over the course of four novels. This is, I kind of want to read this to like test the waters of where I'm at with this kind of literary fiction, because this is something that I would have loved in my like late teens and early 20s 
20s. I'm just not sure how I would do with it today. So I, I'm just intrigued to give this a try to see where my tastes are with this kind of book at this point in my life. Another fantasy pick is the Broken Earth trilogy, I believe it's called, from N.K. Jemisin. The first one is the fifth season. I have that as an ebook and I definitely want to read it. It is a, like a hugely lauded fantasy series. All three of the books in the trilogy won the Hugo Award in the year that they came out, if that tells you anything. I've read other stuff from N.K. Jemisin that I've enjoyed. It's one that I've been kind of a little intimidated by and also just wanting to give some space because it was so high up that I kind of just wanted to like let it breathe a little bit and then come to it in my own time. But I'm thinking 2021 may be a time for me to at least get started with that series. I don't know. We'll see how that factors in because I do have some other big like chunky fantasy like tomes on my TBR this year. So may or may not happen, but I am definitely intrigued to get to that one and see what I think of it because it is so lauded. Next, another mystery series I want to start is the Armand Gamache series from Louise Penny. Now I'm holding this one up. Lovers of the series. I know that I have to start the first one. Anytime these books come up, that is like the main comment that comes up. So don't worry. I have the first one and I will start with it. I'm just holding this up because it's a physical copy. I, I jest, but this is one that apparently you do need to read in order. And it has very Poirot or like Christie kind of mystery vibes to the way it's described. It's also set in Quebec. I love, you know, francophone things. Uh, uh, so it's a whodunit French stuff. That should be something I enjoy. So this is one. I don't know if this will be the year I started just because I've got a big Dorothy L. Sayers read through going on. So I may or may not start this one this year, but it's definitely on my radar as one I might start this year. And I think most of the rest of these are all fantasy. So one that I'm very intrigued by is uh, Jade City by, I believe, Fonda Lee. Is that Lee Fonda? Fonda Lee? I may be wrong on the author. You're looking at the cover. But this is like fantasy with a mafia element to it. And I have seen such good things about this series. My friend Jashana, I know, absolutely loves it. And yeah, I'm very intrigued by this one. This is my, I kind of told myself if I could get a couple of the trilogies I've got going in fantasy off of my TBR this year, then I would let myself buy and get started on, on Jade City. Maybe once I finish a couple of the ones on my 21 books to read in 2020, I'll go ahead and pick that up because I am very intrigued by this and really just kind of want to get on get in on the hype since everybody seems to be enjoying it so, so much. Then I would like to try another series from Mark Lawrence. So I have read the original like Red Sister trilogy from him. I have started on his kind of YA sci-fi series he had. I forget what that first book was called, but I enjoyed it. And I would like to try a different fantasy series from him. So the next one I think I'm going to try from him is Prince of Fools because I don't think I'm quite ready for Prince of Thorns. That one I know is like real hardcore and I may or may not be able to get through that one. So I'm going to try this one next. And uh, yeah, I know that I think he, he ends up being kind of a divisive figure a little bit, um, which I can see. But so far, I've enjoyed what I've read from him. So I'm going to keep going for now. And we'll see if I can keep hanging with him. Then Amberlo by Laura Elena Donnelly. I forget what this trilogy is called, but this is set in sort of like an alternative 1930s Germany, but it's fantasy. And it has, I think, a lot of political machinations in it. And it has a lot of queer elements in it. So this is one I'm really intrigued by. I meant to read this in 2020, but then 2020 happened and we all know how that impacted life. So I didn't get to this, but I am very intrigued by it and I'm hoping I'm gonna really get into it. So maybe this will happen this year. I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. It is definitely on my radar of one I wanna get going with. And then last, uh, the one I thought I'd mention is Walk on Earth, A Stranger by Ray Carson. This is a YA, a, a YA fantasy that apparently has a lot of like Western inspired elements to it, which is something I've been like into recently. So yeah, I'm intrigued to get going with it. It's a little bit older, but I know people still talk about it really warmly. And I do, I just enjoy YA fantasy. It's like a really nice sort of palate cleanse for me. So I would like to get going on this one at some point. Who knows? When I look at all these, I'm like, yeah, I'd like to get going on all of them. But that's the problem. I have too many books to read and I'm not getting through them. So I'm doing my best. I'm trying to make a little bit of progress so I can actually get to some of these and, uh, you know, clear them off my TBR and enjoy them. I'm not just trying to clear them off my TBR. I'm trying to read them because I think I'll like them. But anyway, all that to say, those are some of the series that I'm thinking about starting. There's so many others. Like I said, I got to like however many that was and was like, girl, this is plenty to just talk about for now. I'm sure I can make another one of these here in the next six months or a year because I'm always getting new books kind of on my radar or new series on my radar of things I might like to try. But definitely let me know if you have read any of these series, what you think of them, if you think that I will like them, 
etc. Uh, you can leave that in the comments below. And yeah, I think that that will do it for me for now. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, follow me on the social meds if you are so inclined. I have all that information listed in the description box below. And I think that that will do it. I hope you are having an absolutely lovely day today. And I will just talk to you soon. Bye.